Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany, and I know y'all have not seen me in so, 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 so long. And I'm so, 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 so sorry about that, but it has been a lot going on. Okay, a lot. So today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. You know, since y'all haven't seen me in a while, I just want to update y'all on what's been going on and just fill y'all in because it's, it's been a lot. So if y'all want to know where I've been, what's been going on, you know, how I'm doing, how Bae's doing, how Baby is doing, then make sure y'all keep watching this video, but make sure y'all hit that subscribe button so y'all can stay with me because I'm feeling a lot better and I'm about to get back on my videos. Yay! I know we're all so excited about it, but make sure you hit the subscribe button, like I said before, and that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so... First things first, I'm sure y'all already could guess I had the baby, right? Because the last time y'all see me was a month ago and I was nine months pregnant. So I'm sure y'all could have guessed that I had the baby. Duh. Right, I know. But it's having the baby is that's a whole different video. So that's a whole different labor and delivery video that is that needs a whole separate dedicated video um but i just been i've been all over the place like because i was i was blown because i was still pregnant for so long i was literally pregnant for 40 weeks and six days so there's that so i was upset about that i don't want to say upset but upset because no girl I, you're not supposed to be pregnant that long okay and he was just not in the business of trying to come out. And I don't even want to blame him because low-key it was me, you know. Because I just was not um, doing what I was supposed to be doing to get him out. But it was crazy. Like, I just stopped working until... When did I stop? When was my last day at work? My last day at work... My last day at work was the 21st of May. I was due the 22nd of May. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm, to be honest, I fell asleep with my eyebrows on yesterday. So they're halfway done, but that's that's not here nor there. Um, I was due the 22nd. I did not have him the 22nd, however. Um... But I was due the 22nd. My last day at work was the 21st. So I'm going to go ahead and use this um, eyebrow pencil by MAC in the shade Spice. Spiced. Spiked. But, yeah, like I was at work up until uh, 39 weeks and 6 days. So I was at work for a while like tired but you know there there but not there like there but physically but not really like there there um if y'all notice clearly i'm not at home we are down in north carolina for the week me and baby um but i mean i was it was just it was a lot like I don't think I really, well, for starters, I didn't plan on carrying him until my due date. That's just a fact. I was really, well, actually, a lot of people didn't think I would carry him until my due date. Um, like, my baby shower was the 28th of April, and I was 36 weeks um, at my baby shower. And a lot of people thought when I came home from my baby shower, I was going to be in labor. Like, I wasn't even, we wasn't even going to make it nowhere else. Like, that's, I was just, I was going to be in labor right then and there. But I wasn't, obviously. I didn't have him for another month and a week. Um, 
but that's not here nor there. I'm going to go ahead and carve out my brows with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Coco. Um, he was comfortable. I'm, I'm just, to say the least, I'm going to just say he was comfortable and he was chilling. And even my doctor was like, yeah, don't expect him to come out. Like, no time soon. And I was just like, that is fantastic. Because everybody told me my third trimester was going to be hard. And honestly, my third trimester was fine. It wasn't until the last, what was it? So I was, I want to say I was maybe 39 weeks. And that's when everything really started going to crap. Like, but... I was just, I was having a crap ton of back pains and everybody's like, oh yeah, you're about to, you know, those are good signs, blah, 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 blah. Like my back was just killing me nonstop, you know, all types of stuff like that. Just, I mean, really, yeah, normal stuff, but it wasn't up until that week that I started feeling it. Um, Like I was fine up until that point. I had a great pregnancy. Thank the Lord. Um... It wasn't really like I had much to worry about. He didn't get me no trouble throughout the pregnancy. He was a busybody, you know, in the womb. But it wasn't like it was no trouble, you know. I liked it. I liked feeling him move around, so it wasn't like a big deal. I wasn't mad about it. Like, I wasn't like, oh, my God, I wish you to chill the frick out, you know. Like, I wasn't like that. It was just... It was what it was. Like, I was fine. I mean... I didn't mind being pregnant, but it wasn't up until when I wasn't supposed to be pregnant no more. At the point when I was, like, not supposed to be pregnant no more, and I was just like, you know, what's really good? Aiden, what's, what's really good? Um, I want to say I made it pretty far in my pregnancy without feeling like, all right, you got to go. Like... Like, for the most part, I really just wanted to meet him because I was like, yo, Aiden, what's good? Like, I'm trying to meet you, bro. Like, for the most part, but also it was just like, all right, now, you overstaying your welcome, bro. So, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lid with the Maybelline Fit Me in the color Caramel. Yeah. Um, But I'm just like... I don't know, like, that was really all that was going on. I'm saying, I was, I was saying a lot was going on, like, it was really a lot going on. It wasn't. I was just, I was just in the last stretch of my pregnancy, and I didn't think I was going to make it. Like, it was really some days where I didn't want to get out of bed. Like, since I stopped working on the 21st, and I didn't have him until the 28th, I had a week where it was just rest. Like, my whole purpose was to rest. That's what I was told, you know, which was fine, but I was not tr trying to, like, I didn't want to, like, I did, but I didn't want to rest, like, it was like, I want to get up, I want to move around, I want to, you know, help him get out of here, so I'm not really trying to just not do nothing and just sit in the house and do nothing, like, I wasn't trying to do that, like, I'm just going to set that concealer with, um, what is this? The Makeup Revolution, uh, setting powder, the banana powder. But it was just like, I just, I don't know. Like, I wasn't trying to just be in the house, obviously, because, like, what, that week we went to the zoo uh the day i was due we actually went to the zoo no we didn't take nobody's kids with us it was just us i like the zoo okay so don't judge me judge your mama um and my husband had never went to the zoo which i didn't find out until that day but that's not here nor there but i went to the zoo you know i was trying to do anything trying to walk him out you know 
but not I'm dusting off my brush. Y'all see that stuff falling, that's what it is. But um it was like it wasn't nothing like too serious. Like not trying to overdo it and you know overexert myself. Really just trying to get out the house because being in the house for that long is really just it wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't my zhuzh, and I wasn't trying to do it. But I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take where I'm going. This color Fresh Picked right here and place that as my transition color. But, I mean, I was just trying to do anything, and I was not trying to really be in the house. Like, I was trying to walk him out. You know, we went for like a three-mile walk. The week before didn't help, obviously, because he was still in there. But, I mean, yes, I enjoy my little extra time, you know, with him being pregnant. But at the same time, it was just like, at that point, it was like, bro, you don't want to meet me? Like, you don't think we good enough? You hear us out here talking to you? Like, I'm not going to meet them people. Like, they seem like they be tripping. And then I'm going to go in with this peach punch color. And then I'm going to go in with this peach tart color. Um, I was just frustrated. Like, bro, you don't want to meet your mama. Like, I'm out here trying to love on you. And you don't want to meet me. Why, bro? That's just how I felt. But, I mean, whatever. My husband did end up being able to stay behind. I don't know if I told y'all. He was supposed to be going somewhere, well, to California, and he did end up being able to stay behind. Dang, I haven't felt from y'all for so long. Um, He did surprise me because I didn't know, you know, I didn't know at first. And so I'm just going to switch brushes. This is a more tapered blending brush, and I'm dipping to that peach tart. So he did end up surprising me, and it was very sweet. And... So that's great. So he did end up being able to stay behind. So he came and surprised me um, one day. I will link that video. That video is on his channel. Um, I'll link that video in the description box. And if I don't, then y'all yeah, remind me. But yeah, he did end up surprising me. He recorded it. So he had like a whole plan together. Um, I did cry. Um, I was like leaving the nail salon. And... He was, like, texting me, but we, obviously, we text all the time. But I'm thinking, like, he's on a plane, you know, or, like, just getting off the plane. or in the airport, you know, waiting for the plane. And I get home from the nail salon, and he was in the driveway. That was, that was a good day. So, like, everything, you know, did end up, you know, being... In my favor, I feel like, you know, with him being able to stay behind and, you know, I was very grateful for that because, honestly, I don't feel like I would have been able to get through. Like, I know I would have, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want to. That wouldn't be, like, what I wanted to do. Like, I wouldn't want him, you know, to have missed, you know, everything you know, having the baby. But he did end up staying behind. He did surprise me. That was fantastic. So we did get a little bit more, you know, mommy and daddy time before the before baby got here, which was good because we needed it, you know. So I was very grateful for that. He put up with my mess. I'm going to go back into... Did I use peach cobbler? I don't know, but I'm gonna, no, I didn't use just peachy. I'm gonna go into just peachy right here. Y'all really can't see these colors, but if y'all have the palette, y'all know what color. I'm just gonna buff out the edges. But I mean, everything did end up working out. Right after this video, I'm going to film my labor and delivery story so y'all can see that. But I mean, I really just like I missed y'all. Like every time I would feel like I was gonna sit down and record for y'all, I just feel like something got in the way. And I hated it because I'm like, I do not want to, you know, go MIA on y'all for that long. And yeah, I know, y'all know that life happens. But coming on here and recording, you know, is like, um, it is a, um, an outlet for me. And it feels.
feels good like talking to y'all like when y'all comment back and you know all that it, it, it feels good and it just it just feels good that's it and i'm not doing that for so long it's just like oh my god like First of all, they're not about to be rocking with me no more because I've been in my A and they're just going to be like, girl, what you, what is you doing? Like, this has turned out to be a very neutral look and that was not the plan, but you know, that seems like that's what it's going to be. Mm. Let me dip in. I'm, oops. This is the Zulu by Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to go in and I'm going to dip into this color right here. And I'm going to, this does not have a mirror. So let me stop playing. And I don't know where my mirror is. So I'm going to go back into this palette. But, oh yeah, that warmed it up a lot. Because that was looking kind of muddy. But, I don't know. I did not like being, you know, not having talked to y'all for so long. And it's probably, that probably sounds weird because, I mean, yeah, y'all aren't talking back. I don't care. But it just felt weird. And it just, coming and recording is a big outlet for me. Um, especially because since Brian isn't always, you know, home, um, it gives me, you know, an outlet just to, not really so much to vent, but it makes me feel better. Like, it gets my mind off of whatever, you know, the problem is. I guess the color I'm going to use is this color right here. I guess because since this is neutral, you know, I guess that's what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush. This is my Morphe. M167 brush and I'm going to spray it with my NYX um, matte finish finishing a uh, spray and I'm going to pop that in the middle of my eyes still no um, mirror in here so back to this palette but it's just I felt like I wasn't doing like what I wanted to do in terms of, you know, what my outlet was because I, I said that while I was on, um, baby leave and all this and during the summer i was going to really buckle down on my videos so that's why that's also why i am filming two videos for you guys today because i said i was going to do better and stop going on my little you know hiatuses and try to stay consistent because it's good for me because it gives me something to occupy my time because, yeah, I know, yes, the baby is taking my time, but no, he's not um, bad to the point where he doesn't let me sleep or nothing. So I am sleeping during the night, so I'm not really, like, sleep deprived yet, but right now he isn't, he's really good, so while he is you know in his little transition stage of being at home and getting his sleep together um even when things you know change and his sleeping changes i still want to be consistent and you know just not go m.i.a on y'all because I mean, I don't personally like going in my own, y'all. And I just, I 
I mean, I don't know if y'all care. Y'all probably don't care when I go MIA, but I just don't. I want to take, I want to really take the time while I have the time to buckle down on my channel and, you know, do this for y'all. I want to get my subscribers up. You know, I just want to, I want to commit more. And it's not like I haven't, like I've just been all the way checked out. Okay, so now that that's placed, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this chocolate dip color. It's a very dark, dark um, brown. I'm going to place that on my outer corner. I just want to make sure that I'm doing what I said I wanted to do and being dedicated to my channel and making good content for you guys and making new content for you guys because it's something I want to do and... I do take this very seriously and I know that in order to get the most out of YouTube, I have to, you know, dedicate my time to it. And it's not like I just have been neglectful, neglectful, is that a word? On purpose, but you know. I just, um, I just haven't been doing, you know, as much as I know I could be doing for my channel to grow. And I'm serious about it growing. So I know I need to, you know, step up. That's really just, I mean, what it boils down to because I just want to make the most out of you know, the time I have and, you know, to make good content for you guys and make content that you guys want to watch. But with that being said, also, that requires participation on you guys' end to let me know what you want to see and, you know, to keep in contact with me so I'm not just making BS you know, videos, I'm actually making something y'all want to watch, so, y'all need, help me, help you, help me, and let me know what y'all want to see, like, I don't know if I said this before the video started, but this is, was going to be a long video, I did say it was going to be a chit chat video, I know I said that, um, but, I just want to do my best to be my best and put my best foot forward, you know. So, y'all want to come back and y'all want to watch me. So, I'm going to prime my face with the Maybelline Master Prime um, Primer Base in 100, the Blur and Smooth Primer. And I'm going to put that in my T-zone. Oh my goodness, y'all let me know. I'm also putting some rest of my face. Y'all let me know down below what y'all did postpartum. Like if you have kids to get yourself like back into um, a good routine as far as I had a goal for myself um, to lose. Uh, once I can work out to lose 15 pounds from whatever I am at my six week point when I actually can start working out. So y'all let me know down below um, if you had a baby, even if you didn't, what's a good um, workout regimen that y'all do for yourselves. I got the new CoverGirl um, True Blend Matte May Foundation. Um, I got it in the color D10 Golden Caramel. And that sounded like it was my shade. I think that's my shade. If it's not, I just put it all over my face. So that's childish. But. Oh yeah, this looks fine. But y'all, yeah, y'all just let me know. 
like how you got yourselves back into a routine of, you know, this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to, you know, be going for walks with baby and dog, you know, if dog gets her life together because she's little and she's bougie and she's a bougie hoe and she don't like walking on a leash for real. Um, but because I'm really, I really have a goal for myself. Um, you know, I'm not, um, ashamed about how much I weigh or nothing. It's just, um, what I want for me because I did gain a lot of weight like over the course of like the past two years and some of it was stress weight you know what well, most of it was stress weight um I don't really eat more when I'm stressed um I do tend to sleep more I skip meals because I don't I tend not to be really that hungry and I know I'm not supposed to skip meals so i you know, was working on that, like, not skipping meals, even if I wasn't hungry, because I know I'm not supposed to do that, but yeah, I ain't gotta tell me, I already know, um, but I just have a place where I want to be, um, you know, weight-wise, and I just want to be serious about getting there, and I'm just trying to, you know, you know, ask around for where a good place to start. Like, once you fell off the wagon, it probably sounds like I'm a drug addict or something. I don't mean like that. Um, but once you got out of the swing of things, and once you were trying to get in the swing of things, you know, now, I still, like, while I was pregnant, I really didn't eat. Like, I didn't have no binge eating. Like, I feel like everybody, you know, tries to blame when you get pregnant. You get, like... You got to eat all this. That's abortion. Because I didn't feel like that. But I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color Honey. Um, But I really just... I want to make sure that I'm staying on. I'm not going backwards. And, you know, the weight loss thing. I'm going forward. In the right direction. So, I just want to, you know, make sure. We're going the right way. And not the wrong way. I'm not trying to gain no weight. Back over this with my foundation brush. She applied a bit much, you know. Oops. Oops, but not oops. My bad, but not my bad. I'm going to go ahead and contour with the Black Opal Foundation Stick in the color Black Walnut. I'm going to blend this out with that same foundation brush. I am going to set my under eye with that same banana powder and my little sponge.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set my contour with my, y'all already know, Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. And I'm going to go ahead with the deepest shade right here with this Morphe brush. I don't know what brush it is. I'm going to go ahead ooh, oops, oops, and sweep that powder away. It's probably going to be real white, just, just a smidge white. I'm going to go back into that palette and I'm going to take this middle shade right there to go over where I have the let me spray my face first Just to get rid of that powdery look because I was feeling very washed out. Put some mascara on. I said, did I not bring mascara? I, I know I did. Oh, yeah, I bought the Maybelline Big Shot mascara. And I'm trying to decide which lashes. I think I'm going to take these lashes by Kiss um, from the Faux Mink Collection. It says they're new. The shorts in the front and long on the end. Maybe these. Or I'm thinking these. I'm going to do these. These are. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my makeup off camera. I ended up having to be baby. And I just put on some blush, some highlighter. And some lipstick and some eyelashes that cost three ninety nine. But they cute though. But I mean, thank y'all for watching this video. Thank y'all for just trying to see what's been going on with me. So y'all, you know, was here to listen. Baby is sleeping now. Um, I will see y'all in my next video, my labor and delivery video story time so just make sure to keep on the lookout for that it should be going up right after this one and as always i'm your girl tiffany thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video